What is going on everybody? How are you all doing really, really well and welcome to another Tournament Champion Squad Builder. Today, we're going to be showing you the team that I use to not unlock a player, unfortunately, but uh, it's to unlock the Ultimate Team Awakened, I think EA have, have called it, basically. But um, if you do enjoy this Squad Builder, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. If you get over 25 likes, that would be amazing. And don't forget as well to subscribe if you are new to the channel. But um, yeah, it got released along with the EA Sports Team of the Season. No player unlockable, unfortunately, but like I say, this is still it's a really nice clean kit and um, the only specification was that it had to be a five star team so you can literally do anything that you want as long as it's a five star team and we put together actually a really really nice hybrid we're going to start off in between the sticks with legend goalkeeper Jens Lehmann never used him before but I was very very impressed and a lot of people really rate him highly like I said I'd never used him before looking at his stats very very tidy six foot three and traditional as well which I know a lot of people tend to favor but was really really good and I only paid 116k which I don't think is too like mad for a legend goalkeeper but yeah very impressed with Lehmann coming in in the left back spot we have got Alexandro it is a bit of a hybrid squad this one is so we'll go through the defense first we've got Rudiger and Sandro making up the left hand side of the defense then on the right hand side we've got Toby Alderweireld's team of the season card and his uh, Tottenham teammate Kyle Walker plank in at right back really really solid defense I, um, I I actually mimicked this is going back a few weeks ago now Nick 28t said that he likes to have his center backs with matching work rates and I did that with this team again you can see Rudiger's in form card by the way like so cheap for what you're what you're paying for statistically it's ridiculous and obviously the team that says Nordvar are packed absolutely love this guy also medium medium and it works so well it's got to be said but yeah Defence was incredibly, incredibly solid. And like I say, Lehman backing him up in between the sticks as well was absolutely phenomenal. Moving into the midfield, first of all, we've got uh, Team of the Season, Draja Nine Golan on the in the centre, sorry. On the left hand side, we have actually got a perfect link to the striker. Never used this guy before, but I thought we'll give him a go. And he did like he really impressed me. His name's Taliska. He's a non-red, but he's six foot three inches tall. He's got some really nice oriented stats. Like I say, he's a perfect link to the striker, which may give away who the first striker is. But yeah, it was really, really solid. And then on the right hand side on midfield, we have got Moussa Dembele, of course, getting a perfect link to Toby Alderweireld. Strong link to Kyle Walker as well. A bit of a Tottenham thing going on on the right hand side at the moment. But um, moving into the attack now, in the camp position, we have got Kevin De Bruyne. Absolutely love this guy on this year's FIFA, as many of you will know if you follow the channel for a long, long time. And then up top, we've got Team of the Season Jonas. Like I say, absolutely amazing. Striker. I got uh, four goals and three assists in the six games that I played. I won this tournament on my second attempt. I got knocked out on penalties in the first round, first time round, and then I've won it straight through second attempt. But yeah, really, really amazing striker. And then partnering up with him, we have got Sergio Aguero. So this is a team, like I say, pretty nice hybrid. It's, it's not really that much of a hybrid. It's basically Syria and BPL, so it's nothing too outlandish. But still, the team played incredibly well. I'm having a lot of success at the moment with the 4 3 1 2. And instructions wise, we just had uh, Kevin De Bruyne on to stay forward. Roger and I are going to stay back while attacking, which I did feel like was a bit of a waste of him because he's a very good player and you don't want him sitting back all the time, but he still performed really, really well. I mean, did he get any assists? Yeah, he got two assists and a goal in the in the six games, which isn't too bad for the defensive-minded midfielder. But other than that, instructions were left absolutely clean. The team played incredibly well. I'd highly recommend that you were going give it a go. What we're going to do now, like I always do now on these squad builders, is we're going to cut away, look at the tournament run that, that, that took us to win the kit, and I will show you the kit in action as well. So um, I'll speak to you in a second lads. So lads, you can see in the first round we actually come across a full England team. He has got informed Delhi Ali, but nothing else too exciting outside of that. And um, it was a bit of a strange one because we took the lead. We were in control after just 11 minutes and this guy basically quit straight after that. So uh, very straightforward first round. We then go into the second round where this guy's got a La Liga team. Some decent players in there like the likes of Gareth Bale, but then he has got Bacambo up front, who, who I don't think is that fantastic at all really. But um, like I mentioned earlier, we actually won this tournament on the second attempt and as far as tournament runs go, this is actually pretty comfortable. You can see we've gone 2 0 up there around the half an hour mark. This guy did actually go and pull one back here, which just I should have cleared it basically. It's completely my own fault. Should have pressed B, got rid, but it ends up bobbling around the box and eventually he does tap it in. We then do go and make it 3 1 in the 80th minute, which pretty much puts the game completely to bed. Jonas is some really nice dribbling. That team that's using Jonas is just absolutely unreal, but it did finish 3 1. Puts us into the semi-final where I was a bit concerned when I saw his team because in my experience, people that use the likes of Fekir usually tend to be quite good as silly as that sounds. But he took takes a really early lead. I think it was Ben Arthur 
that slotted in. It was, um, we were under the cosh really for the first 10 minutes. We managed to hold on in there, pull one back to bring it back level with uh, a nice long range up from a uh, Kyle Walker after he cleared a corner. And then from that moment on, we never really looked back. Dembele slots in a pretty poor finish. Get a bit lucky on the finish really, but he slotted in to make it 2-1. We then go ahead and make it 3-1 with another long range, this time with Team of the Season 9 going. A couple of really nice goals in this game actually. And, um... Like I said, we just didn't look back from this point on. That was right on the stroke of hard time, which I imagine was a bit of a killer for the opponent, really. We're then going to make it 4-1. Kevin De Bruyne slots in nicely after some nice dribbling from Sergio Aguero. And we then would have got another to the to the tally to make it 5-1. This was literally like the 50th minute as well. And this guy basically just left then. He just sat in the corner with the ball, which saw the end of the game. And then in the final, Tim the season, Igalo up top. He did have Walcott and a couple of other Arsenal players in there as well. Again, it was relatively comfortable. We take the lead after 16 minutes. Penalty well won by Jonas, I believe it was. And uh, Sergio Aguero will took it away straight down the middle, powers it up, and uh, the keeper dove to his left. He did manage to pull it back a, like a reasonably nice goal. Some nice dribbling and a pretty decent finish from Eric. So a little, little bit sweaty, though. But um, we would have actually scored pretty much from the kickoff after this guy pulled it back level to make it 2-1. Aguero again, who actually was fantastic for me in this team. Like, it's the most success I've ever had with Aguero was in this team. Him and Jonas so that's absolutely unbelievable. It was a pretty close game after there, but we did make it 3-1 in about the 70th minute, which saw the uh, saw the trophy come away. That was how the game finished, 3-1. Like I say, it was a relatively comfortable tournament run. These things are usually um, very sweaty and very, very difficult, but it wasn't too bad this time round. And as you can see, there's the kit. We unlocked it, and not only the kit, 5,000 coins, which isn't too shabby whatsoever either, but you can see the, uh, the kit in action here on the kit selection screen. Like I said at the start, it's a really nice clean kit. I think it's the away version of the Division 1 winner's kit, basically, but I think it's really nice, all white, and uh, you'll see a little bit of it in action here as I score a goal just against the computer. This was just in single player, but uh, like I said, really nice clean kit. Definitely worth uh, doing the tournament for, in my opinion, but uh, that does wrap up this video, lads, so if you did enjoy it, like I said at the start, make sure to leave a big thumbs up, and that's always massively appreciated. I will speak to you all in tomorrow's video, which is actually going to be another squad build, so I'll speak to you all there, lads. Have a great day. Need you out. Yo, his niche plays with big games and player views are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.